Yes, turn that back on. Sorry, this is the start of day. Mm -hmm. So you would come in, turn on your machine, yeah. the power light will light up to tell you, yes, the machine's got power. Okay. Now the first thing we probably want to do is turn on the steam boiler itself, which okay. is the one with the flame steam, looking yeah. guy. Yeah? So now, so once you've turned it on, mm -hmm. sometimes when you first go to start it up in the morning, you may hear that pump start right. to pump the water in, right? Mm -hmm. So on a Monday morning, I'm assuming that that's what Jared's going to make as a part of your standard thing, is that on a Monday morning, you need to flush the boiler tank, right? So what we want to do is we want to get the boiler starting to come up to temperature, and you'll be able to see via this gauge, it will get up to that first little black bar, which is one bar of right. steam pressure. Okay. Right? Once it gets up to that one bar of steam pressure, what we want to do is, so it'll take probably about three to four, three to five minutes, probably to get up to temperature. We can see that on this, in here, is a side gauge, and you can see the water level in there. You can see like a little bit of bubble on the top of the water level there. Sometimes you'll find that this will get like a bit of a brown looking or it might get dirty. That's meaning that we definitely need to flush that tank. So when we get up to one bar of pressure, which is not too far away, what we'll do is we'll open up. So this will be the tap that we're opening. And these pipes will get hot when you do open it. Yep. It will force the water up out through here and it will go to the drain, which is it, which they installed outside. Yeah. So what we'll do is, we're just waiting for that pressure to come up now. So operation of the machine, up quick. yeah it will go up pretty quick. Your actual working pressure you'll find will be way up around the, it's around the four, between four and six bar of your working pressure. So that'll be up to around here somewhere. Um, a lot of places that have used these suppressors, what quite a lot of them do, they'll use a cloth, they'll just have like a, an old cloth or a rag, especially with the iron part. Um, and then what they'll do is before you try and go straight onto the garment or onto the bed, they'll normally just use it first straight onto the, like the cloth. The reason being is that if you haven't used it for a while, the condensation will sit in the line and the first time that you go to use the steam, yeah. it will actually like blow out some stuff and it'll blow out water and you don't want the gut to go over that. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it was a shiny, yeah, yeah, yeah. polished one. Stick on the bows, yeah, yeah. So, just with this one, I would, that's what we generally they do, yeah, they have a cloth theatre. If you had a spotting gun, it's great for that too. But, um, yeah. So we've got up to our steam pressure now, we're actually a bit higher. So we'll open this up, just open it up slowly. You can see how the pipe is shaking, just fine. Just turn the tap, and clockwise, yeah. And you'll find that it's opened up. See how, so the direction of the, Yep. So you can hear the water pump is now starting to pump. Yep. So what we'll do is we'll go outside, we'll leave that pumping. Mm -hmm. And it should now have been flying that outside bit. And you will get a little bit of steam coming up through the... So you can see it spluttering. It's like oh, yeah. hot water that's spluttering yeah. out the drain. Yeah, yeah. See how it's sort of spluttering and mm -hmm. now it's starting to come float? Yeah. 